Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ness and in today's video, we're building the cafe on Happy Home Paradise. I'm excited to get into it, so let's begin. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to, subscribe to join our family because I'd appreciate having you here. Enjoy the video. So of course, we greeted Lottie at Bordell, did a little bit of shopping, I bought a toy duck and this plush massage chair for my back issues, and then we changed into our work clothes, and today was a really exciting day because it was another day to decorate the facility, and we are going to make the cafe first. I opted for this because I figured it would be a smaller space, and I really love building cafes and bakeries, as you all see from my previous speed build and I made the exterior very natural and beige toned to really match the coastal and summery vibes on the happy home paradise island and of course we were also taught how to design and customize lighting which is really exciting for me because I really love it when the rooms are very naturally lit especially when there are wallpapers that don't really have windows so I don't really like to use the artificial lighting that changes the room to sort of like an orangey hue but then also like a bluish hue so this was exciting for me to finally be able to customize the brightness and the hue of the lighting in the room Despite the exterior being a little bit more natural and toned down, I definitely did not miss the opportunity to make the interior really bright and colorful. So I decided to use this Moroccan tile flooring. I think it is so beautiful and I paired it with the blue wood panel wallpaper and the cafe curtain wallpaper as well. And I just really wanted this space to be really welcoming and open, so I decided to use really pretty coastal colors, hence the blue and the greens and the whites. I think it just makes for a really bright and beautiful space. So a long time ago, when I was visiting a city outside of the state that I live in, I went to a coffee shop that sort of had this concept and this space that I'm building right now, and it was a family-run coffee shop and cafe, and it had these comfy seating areas for people who just wanted to grab a quick bite or maybe just sit down and do their work at a table and enjoy like a nice cup of coffee and maybe some pastries but then in a really tiny cute corner of the cafe there was also a lounging area so that was kind of my inspiration for this build i think that is such a cute concept and i love like the open floor plan that it had so of course i tried to capture that here as well and i just wanted it to be more open and bright as well so again kind of going along with what i had in mind but in the back left from the entrance i just imagined that to be a really cute lounging space where people can come in and enjoy afternoon tea and pastries with their friends as opposed to just grabbing a quick bite I was really happy building this because I never really build with blue because I just 
I don't know, I, I think blue is really difficult to match when it comes to the game because there's just so many variations of blue in the furniture, but I somehow just kind of went with it and winged it and here we are and I'm really happy with the way that it looks and I'm also really happy that I decided to include natural wood color in this. I definitely think that it gives it more of that coastal aspect mixed with the white wood on the Moroccan sofa and just like the Moroccan tile I think all the blue and green with the white really pulls everything together to make it look more cohesive. I usually do stick to a color palette for that purpose, but I do think that adding a little bit of warmness with the natural wooden furniture items was a really good idea, so I'm really happy that I did that. This is such a random side note, but I guess not really, but I think it is adorable that Lottie and even like some of the villagers when you're decorating the vacation homes and Lottie when you're decorating the facilities, when you place an item down, they like nod in agreement or like they smile or clap or just like make that heart emo and I think it's absolutely precious. It's like, ah, uh, yes, words of affirmation. <laughs> And of course, we can't forget to polish and make the food look all sparkly and scrumptious. And of course, I had to be a little extra and add a little bit of steam shine to the espresso machine to make it look a little bit more realistic. I chose Blair and Aurora to be the staff in this cafe because how could I not? They look so cute and they are so precious in this gown and I just love them, so it's a win-win. And of course, after that, Lottie mentions that it's time to name the cafe. I decided to name it Milk and Mocha after the duo of bears on the internet. You can see them throughout pretty much everywhere through stickers, gifts, I love them and it was suggested by my best friend so I loved it and I love that suggestion so thank you you know who you are and I love you so here is our milk and mocha cafe I love it it is so cute I think it is really bright and open and just very very welcoming I love the laid-back vibes and overall it's just a really cozy and nice cafe and I'm really proud of it and I really hope that you all enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and please let me know what you did for your cafe, what you named it, what you used, maybe what kind of theme you went for, and I want to know all about it. Tell me in the comments down below or just say hi. And as always, I appreciate you so much. Have a lovely day and until next time, take care. Bye!